This week on Clown College. Absolutely <laughs> not. <laughs> That's what Reddit told me, dude. Yeah. They'll yeah. tell you things. I believe like it that. now. That That's I'm what Reddit, Reddit told he me. He applied for an art school in Austria or like Vienna <laughs> or something. And they're like, nah, man, you suck. Damn. Okay. And then, so I was you right. know, he got into politics after that, <laughs> you know? Uh-huh. And he started doing the beer hall push and he got some cool guys to team up with him. And then he started killing the d- man. So, what part of this has been bad? <laughs> wait, wait, whoa. Welcome to Clown College. We have profound knowledge. In many ways, the elevator make it sound polished. So if you want to hear a little honest, a few takes on a ways to make it as a comic, then stick around for a while. If you're down to clown, we got the guests right now just to show you how. Let's all go to Clown College, baby. It's with Brandon. Hello, yeah, I got it. It's on there. <sighs> and we're back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What episode is this, Brandon? This is episode 32. I 32. think he's right. Yeah. 33. This is 33? I don't know. No, I, I think 32. <laughs> hey, uh, I, I'm not at anymore. If you've seen the production value went up, that's because we have an Asian. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I love him, dude. Hell Detect- yeah. Finding oh your gosh. funny. Oh, <laughs> I forgot <laughs> we had that. Man, By Alex, Alex Z. I love, I love this. <laughs> I love yeah. this so much. We're going to put a... The actual film's on that VHS tape, dude. Oh, I if anybody had it. a fucking VHS anymore. Could you right imagine, here? like... You do? Yep. Oh, my gosh. I hook you up. You, re- you rewind it with the pencil and everything? Oh, I rarely used it. The only time yeah. I used it was to watch, like, old SummerSlam videos from, like, 1993. <laughs> you got Dude, I had the Summer SummerSlam. Slam. What mm-hmm. SummerSlam do you have? I think I have SummerSlam 94, and then I have, like, a bunch of the Raw episodes, like, from back-to-back from 95 and, uh, I think, 96 and 7. Maybe even 98. Damn. Damn, those were the Jordan years. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah! Second run. So this is my we, we me and JJ both just started working um, uh, forty hours a week. And Why do you make it sound so suspicious? Dude? Because because I this is my third energy drink today, <laughs> and I had to hit JJ up because he is the the energy drink connoisseur. I wanted yeah. to get your list of uh, top five oh, energy drinks, dude. Off the dome. I made it now. I I developed this list over several years, and obviously there's some subjectivity. Everybody likes different flavors, but if you don't agree with me, you're wrong on this one. <laughs> uh, my favorite C4. Like I want to choose one from each big brand because okay. I don't want to be you know weird about it. Yeah, yeah. Favorite C4 is strawberry watermelon ice. Dude, mm. I don't like all that candy collaboration they got going on, dude. It's just too much, bro. Okay. You want to get energy? You want to eat candy, dude? Mm-hmm. Fuck energy. that. Yeah, and then <laughs> Bucked Up, the Miami flavor. Now, Brandon, look this one up, right. dude. I never heard of this. Bucked Up, Miami. Now, this one has 300 milligrams of caffeine. That's 100 more than the C4, so you get a little bit more pep oh, in your shit. step. They, I guess they sell it as a pre-workout, too, but, yeah, the can. Right that's it, dude. Ooh. Look at that. Thing. Like is, that at ev- is that everywhere? No, that's mm. and you got to go to the five star on the corner of Capshaw and <laughs> Old Railroad Bed Road, dude, and you find one of them. But don't go there because they're mine, dude. I'll buy all of them. <laughs> Damn. Uh, Monster Zero Red or Ultra Red. Monster okay, Zero, yeah. Ultra mm-hmm. Red. That's a good classic. Had to throw a monster in there. The Rise Sunny D. That's the morning time energy. Hold on, what? Dude. It's what Sunny D flavor. Oh, let me search this up. Rise with a Y. Oh. I, Sunny D. Sunny D has a fucking... Well, it's a Sunny D collaboration with oh, this company. Dude, see. it's so fucking good. Ooh, right there, I bro. Look I've at seen that. that. I've, I've seen never that. seen that. The Rise, they have a Kool-Aid, a Ring Pop, a uh, Baja Blast. No, I gotta look this up. They got a lot of that. shit, dude. But like the ghost. Sunny D is my favorite. It tastes just like Sunny D, man. Really? Yeah. yeah. Not it doesn't have like the sugar in it that mm-hmm. Sunny D does, so it's like kind of tastes like a diet Sunny D. But okay. that that flavor's there, bro. You close your eyes, you're in first grade, dude. Your uncle's molesting you or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. That was on call for, dude. That was on me. He said, "Oh no, it's okay." Nah, man. <laughs> and then the last I'm one, sure dude. They didn't even <laughs> He said, hey, whatever helps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. 
Damn. What did you say his Sunny D rise? Oh man, I'm sorry. Damn that that <laughs> that's good. I'm glad they did it like that. Sunny D rise, yeah. Yeah. Fuel. Sun rises, so is your dick. That's what I feel like. Morning right? wood. Yeah. Morning wood. Mm-hmm. Always the rooster wake up crows. With yeah. Yeah. You gotta hack it. Whoa. What? You know Bob what I mean? It? You got you got to do something. It's standing up, so you got to get it down. How do you get it down, Brandon? Well, by either sex or you got to whack the bush. Whack it. Whack, whack it. the bush. Yes, two things: sex or whack it. Do you take can, <laughs> do you take your uh, pubic hair and then wrap it around the head of your penis? <laughs> no, it does that itself. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? You got a boa constrictor pubes? I wake dude? up and it's pulling it. I don't know. That's just trying to wake me up or something. Then I stand up and I gotta and I get kind of stuck and gotta go to the restroom and just un- yeah. untangle it. Yep. Yeah, this, yeah, because like, why are they moving? Dude, ever since middle school, I had that problem. Like, what? I would play basketball, and I don't know why, but uh, I would jump or something, and then I don't know. Okay, so this thing is this. Is, okay, so we all know, you know, you man. Okay, I got a, I got we a don't. normal thing, right? And then sometimes it'll hide when it's like working out or something, right? Uh huh. And then when it goes back into its little. Little, you know what I mean. Little, little, what is that? No, just when it. it when it closes, uh-huh. the dick closes. It pulled the hairs with it, and then I would jump. <laughs> and when I would jump and try to do a layup or something, it would yank me back to the ground. I'm just like, Fuck. That's not how physics work. But <laughs> and that shit. Hurt. It gets caught up in there. Yes. Yeah. So you're saying yeah. it's like a tractor beam kind of situation. Yep. It like retracts, and they just get caught up cool. in there. And it, go, yeah. it goes with it. Yeah, it can happen at any moment. That's why I invested in Manscaped. Yep. Who we're sponsored by. Nah, that'd be nice. <laughs> no, we're not. I, I don't. <laughs> they would never, dude. Is it, a, is it an appropriate question to ask somebody if they're circumcised or not? Is that yeah. okay to ask? I don't know. Like, I, okay, so. What do you mean? So, okay, so I need <laughs> that to know. That stumped the, him, dude. Yeah. <laughs> so the difference. What's the difference? Circumcised, do you have the foreskin? Well, you can look it up. No, nah, we don't. Yeah, look it up. You want to look they it up? They got medical, right. yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see. Yeah, and this is completely educational. Yeah, this yeah. is not. Weird at all. Sized versus uncircumcised. Yeah. Yeah, man. I mean, it's. Do you got the hood? Hmm. Or? So you really don't know right now, like I, as we speak I right now. Don't know. All right, click on go. that image. Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> this is t- because it's not like that. It's like the the circumcised one, but it, every once in a while I can close. Oh, then you're circumcised. Yeah. Probably I would say. Okay. Maybe yeah. you just got like you know. Well, kind of shitty job done when you were a kid. Yeah, that's, it hey, could be. that could be it because I, man, it still happens sometimes. I just like walk up, I sit down too long and stand up. I'm like, oh, hold up. I, one minute and everybody freak out. I'm like, what's wrong, bro? I'm like, nothing. I'm just, I got to go to the Wait, bathroom. I'll be back. What is that about? Oh, I'm talking about like trying to stand up or something. It could hurt. And I just yell. I'm like, oh, shit. Because when you hurt. stand up, your penis hurts? No, I'm talking about I'm talking about what happened with you remember the basketball thing? The like, hair. Yes. yes. Oh okay. the hair's inside. Yeah. But but yes. why are they moving independently? Like the hairs. What's rustling around in there? You said what's, what's moving rust- what's I, moving? I think the it's hairs, when I dude. move, it's like everything's there and then the hair'd be like, Oh, I'm here too. So then they just all and meet they together. Just get caught. Yeah, and they get yep. caught until they get in a situation. And then you know, I gotta go in there and break it up. Mm-hmm. I got long taint hair. Yeah. So that's why man I can braid it. Me too, actually, yeah. Yeah. I did one time. <laughs> I'm glad this is a, a bonding moment, dude. Yeah, we learned I it. I, I, I'm circumcised. <laughs> I, I mean, I could try, but my arthritis would try. I'm get circumcised, to. man. <laughs> learn how to swim, and now I'm circumcised. You learn how to swim? What? Yeah, so what happened was uh, we went to the kiddie pool, and I was like, fuck it, man. I'm just going to do this. And I swam like back and forth weirdly but i did it the kitty back and pool. forth yes and it was like what was it the highest it was was like four feet or five feet oh that's oh fine. yeah that's not and a i just i went from there to the one what, oh, the shit. two feet came back and i did good you Only, didn't get no feet on the ground no man i mean i did one thing where i got like to the real lower level and accidentally like got excited and started wiggling my feet and bam hit the fucking bottom Ooh. and that shit yeah. When you stub that your was toe horrible. underwater. And, yeah. and it was a rough start, too, because, like, when I got there, I brought my uh, swim trunks and shit. And I and I went out there. I grabbed it. And, you know, everybody was out there looking at me. I was like, I'll be right back. And then I realized I, could, I couldn't <laughs> fit none of them. And so I would just stand in the bathroom for a minute like, damn, man, I don't want to go back out there and be like, I, I can't swim because I, I can't fit my shit. 
You swimming trunks? Yeah, because I was like, dude, I can't, I can't do this. Either gonna rip. <laughs> and there's kids outside. Man. Yeah. I can't Ooh, have this yeah. shit happening. And then the other one, I was like, okay, this one kind of works until I bent over and tried to pick something up. And then it just came out, and I was like, nah, man, this is not going to work. The so table's that, turned. Yeah, so I had to go to... <laughs> <laughs> to the work. apple doesn't fall for, too far from the tree, <laughs> dude. And we don't need that. So I was like, <laughs> I ran to Walmart and just got me some Modella swim trunks. And Modella? It, yep. Oh, shit. Sure. They also had PBR, but dude, the Modella was fucking dope as shit. Yeah. Oh, hey. Hell yeah. And it's then a Modelo day. Hey, and pro tip, dude, you need some extra room in the swim trunks, just cut that webbing yeah. out. You don't need it. You don't? You don't. That do, you wear, do you wear underwear under your swim trunks? Not when I'm swimming, but I, when I wear them in shorts, I do. Oh, I wear underwear. I don't, I don't think that's weird. But, but like, I, no. t- I don't, like you, I don't want the, I don't want the netting in there because I'm then, a grown yeah, man. Then, yeah, you should probably wear underwear. Yeah. If you're going to, if you're going to go no net, bro, you need something to contain it. Dude. I had these uh, fucking polo uh, swimming trunks, and they were short like your, the shorts you wear. Yeah. And uh, they were badass. But I didn't realize that whenever you get they get wet, see right through them motherfuckers. So we were out with uh, a couple friends, and we was in Hawaii. And we, I was out, like, they were like, you want to come to the beach with us and all that stuff? So I'm like, hell yeah. I go out there. I come out the water. I'm like, Ugh. And I look down. I'm like, oh, my God. Yeah. You can see my whole dick. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> you can see the whole, there's families what out there. What color are the yellow? Oh, they were yellow, so like a pale yellow. Yeah, like a yellow. pale yellow. Yeah. No netting. Like I don't even know why they did are they that. Swim trunks? Dude? No, they were swim trunks. I, I think I still got <laughs> them. He's like women's nighttime shorts. Like he's, they like, <laughs> he's like they're really short and there's no netting in there and they're real thin and see through. Yeah, I think you wore lingerie on the beach. Dude. I, don't, I don't know. Actually, I almost bought those pairs when I was at the Walmart because they had like a Simpson one and I was like walking with it and then I opened it. I was like, wait a minute, it says board shorts, but there's no fucking net. I can't do this. So then I had to put it back and get the Modella. Yeah, boy shorts is a type <laughs> no, of no, women's not the, Can you imagine Brandon out there some boy shorts? <laughs> man, no, nah, man. One bad oh fucking flip. Because I like to flip. I can. <laughs> jumping and punching in the water. And, uh, yeah, one bad flip. It's going to die. We don't need that. Yeah. That will be the worst day of my life. Dude, I remember when you only seen boy shorts whenever you were messing with a girl. Dude, I was driving in here from work. I turned in here. Girl had a... Um, jean shorts on and like from f- far away like my vision is, even though i got contacts in they're, they're old prescription i can't really you know but so i'm like i'm like damn it looks like those things are really short and i go over the speed bump and i'm like oh all both of her ass cheeks were out she yeah. was skinny but she had a nice little ass on her and uh i love this now i'm, I'm with scott <laughs> curtis I, I love what they're doing with these short shorts yeah yeah man i mean it's just crazy the the ones that are crazy to me are like the bell bottom yoga pants or the leggings. You know, like now they got oh, the flare yeah, out at the yeah, bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't tell if I love that or I hate that with all of my heart, dude. I, I don't get what know. you're saying. You said what type of yoga pants? <laughs> the bell bottom yoga. Yoga, yeah. The flare bell. pants, dude. Bell bottom flare. Got, it just said Ben Shapiro's sister. <laughs> <laughs> you Have you seen, seen her? I've seen those. Yeah. I've Googled it. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. <laughs> I'm scared people are going to like pause on my Google searches whenever. Uh, oh, that, see, those. now these are the ones from the joke. I'm not, these aren't the ones I, I'm, th- click on those blue ones up there. Fabletics, Kevin right Hart's it? ass wearing them. Yeah. Let's see. What those. Here. This is what I think I was thinking. Ooh, yes. That right good there. Style. Yeah, I don't like those. It's just like a V neck for your waist. I don't yeah. know how I feel about it. Hmm. I mean, the flare out at the end, I guess that's cool or whatever. No, I don't like it. Wait, let's see what's down there. She's giving us an example. Hmm. Hmm. What do you think about that, Brandon? <laughs> Can you examine that? Oh, oh, did they really just do that? Wow. Wow. Could you imagine Dante in those? It's a fucking tease. Why are you hell? slowly putting your phone yeah, in man. your pocket? Like, nobody does that. Yeah. Isn't it crazy Dante has a fatter camel toe than her? <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Not really, dude. <laughs> Let's get Dante a pair of these, dude. We they should. make uh, 4X. <laughs> well, Dante he's on crutches right now, dude. It's going to be hard for him to get them on. <laughs> he did a whole set and didn't 
address the crutches no. one yeah. time. Well, not even. It's one. <laughs> they only gave him he one. Gave him a crutch. It's not crutches. It's crutch. <laughs> yeah, Dude, yeah. He's got a crutch. Like, hey, yo, crutch. He's yeah, good. crutch. And what? What happened? How did he end up on crutches? I think he was in the new High School Musical or something. Yeah. Yeah, well, he said it was something in the band. I think like a high schooler outperformed him. He was he dance said, battling. Dance yeah, battling. that's exactly he said. Children. He said never. <laughs> I said, Dante, what happened? He's like, I don't want to say nothing about it, but never dance battle with high schoolers. And I was like, I didn't plan on it. <laughs> I don't really, didn't. I don't want to hang around them that often. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I talked to a high schooler. Mm. Yeah, besides my family, dude. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't think I have. When I was a student school. teacher, that was the last time. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And I hated it then. But Dante has the mind to hang out with high schoolers. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I'm, well, yeah. There's two yeah. ways that could go. <laughs> yeah. Let's be honest, dude. Good, bad. You and smooth selling, you crashing that boat, you know? <laughs> yeah. And he's already injured, dude. I don't know. <laughs> man, I love him, man. He was, that was, that oh, was funny. Oh, that was great. Yeah. I remember he did one set. I don't remember which one it was where he's scared. I thought he was going to slip with that crutch and fall. I was like, no, I got to go help. I can't believe he didn't say anything about dude, it. Dude, I thought he would. I thought but he Pat would. had a funny job. Oh, man. About, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was hilarious, dude. <laughs> Pat's, be, Pat's getting better. Pat, Pat oh, yeah. uh, you know, he doesn't know it. No. Oh, we shouldn't tell it on here. We should have him on and tell him. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good idea. Yeah, man. dude. We should uplift his spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're going to have him on and tell him which of our skits is based off of him. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. shit. But not no more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. half the time. Every other ride. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So I want to tell you guys something. I got, I'm on the X5 showcase. For real? Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. yeah for... I, just go, I get to be like JJ. Man. Hey, yeah. follow the JJ's footsteps. Yep. Let's go up there and fucking oh, yeah, rock them. <laughs> go up first, dude. <laughs> Draw number one. I already, I feel like, I feel like that's going to happen. Do you know? I mean, I kind of, I, I kind of figured it was gonna happen. For some reason, I'm always going first. You always go first. But I've been yeah. going last recently, mm -hmm. and that's okay too, I guess. Well, see, it depends on where you like. You never want to go last at Fat Sammy's because you won't have a crowd. I don't know if there was anybody in there besides comics when I went. Up. Yeah, exactly. But I had fun, I guess. Yeah, I it, wish you I, killed. Uh, uh, first of all, and that joke would have worked. <laughs> <laughs> called me out for t that joke would have worked. I I'm sitting next to Scott. And he was like. No, I didn't even say anything to him. He was like, "Oh, that would have worked if he would have paused, like you told me in real <laughs> life, and you didn't say nothing about the the they were white, they were racist and white in the hood." Well, I thought I figured if I said they had a Confederate flag, that'd be there's not gonna be a lot of black people in the hood with Confederate flag. Oh, no. Maybe in Alabama, I, so I guess anything's I was possible. Say, yeah. dude, it is twenty because you you didn't you got I think you should specify that they're white in the yeah. hood and they're racist, and that the white girl was saying. Um, the hard R. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't say. You know what I mean? That. You know, if you if you if you if you based it like that. Bombs, dude. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Yeah, that dude. That that is whole a, story is wild. That was. I was actually scared, bro. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's too, a reason dude. to be legitimately yeah. scared. You should tell. <laughs> oh know. yeah, dude. It's so. You know, my dad loves a good deal, man. <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> my guy. My dad has some weird tendencies with vehicles. He. Uh, goes through them pretty fast, and he's always looking for some automotive work. And he met this dude at a gas station, I think. I'm not going to say his name. It was Cody. And <laughs> he said Cody lived. Uh, <laughs> if Huntsville had a hood, this was it, dude. Like, it's, it's statistically the most crime-ridden street in Huntsville. And we're there, and, dude, it's like pit bulls and just little mini grills and shit outside. There's just oh, yeah. people, you know... Just, just being themselves, you know, <laughs> and uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> and I you know, walk yeah. in, it, and we go there to this dude Cody's house to get the alternator or something changed. And the house is not done; like it is falling apart. You walk in and you see the wood. For, you see, it's the frame of the house with like some sh <laughs> fucking plywood around it. You know, it's yeah. a it's an interesting setup. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Maybe we can record the podcast there. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, but this dude, like, it's a weird vibe when I get there. They're 
talking about they the, him and this dude that work together. They're smoking weed, drinking beers, you know, Americans. Mm-hmm. And then they start start dropping the n bomb hard R. And these Ooh. people are so white, dude, so white. And they <laughs> only have one decoration in the house, and it's a Confederate flag. Dude. <laughs> they're making a statement, dude. Whatever the opposite of gentrification is, <laughs> colonization, that's what they're doing, man. <laughs> and they just go in there and, dude, I'm getting goosebumps thinking about it. I hate, I hated it so much. This, this lady comes in, this white woman, and she's like shaking, tweaking, and she's like, and and the dude instantly knows something is up. He's like, "What the fuck did you do?" Like, I'm not gonna say exactly what he said. <laughs> there was some crimes dude but and then she was she was like uh, I, I robbed a drug dealer down the street i stole like a whole jug of vicodin or like percocet from him i think he's gonna come in and kill us and i was like 19 and i'm just sitting there and i'm thinking i'm like wait a minute dude us <laughs> i'm gonna die in this fucking place dude because if you look at me they, If I'm like No I'm not with them They're not <laughs> They're not believing that dude Not for a second Like yeah Nice try <laughs> And yeah But no nah, We left And um It's fine We're Did y'all leave right after that Like cause she no. said that So y'all stick to Your dad was like Fuck I need my car fixed <laughs> <laughs> Well He was like Well The alternator's already out <laughs> You know That we can literally Can't leave <laughs> We're stuck here Damn. Mechanically Oh, it's always good to have a crackhead work on your shit. Yeah, I need to find one. Yeah, they'll, they'll do it fast, but you will have to go through shit like that. This was more of a heroin situation. Heroin, less crack, more heroin. More heroin. It was, they were chill. Were they sleeping, falling asleep? Uh, I try to block most of that out, <laughs> but yeah, they weren't. I mean, he was awake after she told him that. That puts some <laughs> pep in his step. You know? <laughs> we about to die. Oh yeah, I'll wake anybody up. Sober them up. Quick. I liked watching those videos of people on um, uh, fucking, like they're at work or the gas station and they're like falling asleep while they're trying to ring it up. You ever seen those? Yeah. Oh yeah, I've seen like, that. Dude, oh yeah, baby. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. You know, degenerates. Yeah. <laughs> I love walking into a business and the every worker is asleep. I love that. Like that happens at Waffle House. Has that ever happened to you? You just see somebody taking a nap in the booth? No. And I and I just walk out. I'm not waking them up, dude. <laughs> Let them have their peace. Dude, did you see that Waffle House just raised their minimum salary to like five ninety six? It was like there were certain people getting paid two ninety five. <laughs> oh, well, that's no, servers. Man. That's the minimum wage in Alabama uh, for servers is like two ninety four. Really? If you make tips, they can give you that much hourly. That's oh. what they do at Top Golf. Mm. Mm. It's fucked up, man. Did did Mark Viola leave Top Golf? I believe so. Yeah. He said, "Fuck that." <laughs> he ain't making enough. Hell yeah! Look, I got it. <laughs> went somewhere better. Proud member of Fat Samuels now. Hell yeah! Hell and why? Did you see that dude walking around the waiter yesterday mm-hmm. with the bandana on? Yeah. I swear to God, I thought that was Nathan Jinx when I first walked in. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the dude that was heckling? I don't think so. See, that's what Alex said. It wasn't him. I don't think that's him. No. But they look alike, right? Or no? I'm just like racist. No, I think you're just drunk <laughs> both times. One on beer, one on liquor. So you know, it's just the pathway is across. Yeah. So. I haven't been drunk in these last two. Last night, I wasn't drunk. Happy. I only had two uh, basil. <laughs> when I walked in, <laughs> when I walked into Fat Sammy's last night, I was like, "What's up, man?" <laughs> His <laughs> eyes were glazed over. He's like, "What's up, man?" Unless there was other substances involved, and I'm and I'm off. No. I was just, I, I swear, me and Dan, I had one drink at a restaurant with Dan and then one Basil Hayden, which is delicious, with him at... Um, Basil Hayden, what's dude. That? It's, it's a bourbon, I think, but it's delicious. It tastes like, like a scotch. A, mm, homeopathic doctor's child's name, <laughs> probably. <laughs> Basil Hayden. Yeah, sickle cell anemia. <laughs> He's barely alive, but we wish him well. Yes, we do. <laughs> do a little salute on All right, well, that's it. Mm-hmm. Hey. We got a great episode. Yes, we do. Oh, yeah. JB. The man. Mm-hmm. Jonah. Jonah Blankenship. JB what? Fire Emoji. Was that his Twitter name? Hell, fuck if I know. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, though. It was JB Fire Emoji, but it wasn't the actual emoji. It was just Fire Emoji spelled out. Oh, okay. JB Fire Emoji. All right. 
Hell yeah. J- J- Jonah's funny as shit. He got second in the X5 uh, showcase last, yeah. t- the 20th yes, of... Uh, Which one are you on? The 20th this month. Hold June? on. I, th- I think. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's on I the think 20th. it's the next week, isn't it? Yep. It's the 20th? Yeah, it's on the it's 20th. It's the 20th. Mm-hmm. Damn, dude. Ma- maybe I should check and see if it's June or July. I think it's the June because they were trying to get people for the. If you're in Birmingham uh, (laughs) Thursday, uh, June 20th or July 20th, I'm not sure yet, but (laughs) I'm pretty sure it's June. Come out and see, you know, see, have a good time. It's a nice one, bro. Hell yeah, we got to talk about this. I'm sorry, I know we got to go. What the dude yesterday, who did the fucking song? Oh shit! (laughs) (laughs) I when I saw him, I was like, damn, dude. Nico has fallen on some <laughs> hard time. <laughs> that was crazy. He did this song about his dog, uh, Tomato. Tomato, yeah. And then he got hit by a car and he turned into ketchup. Yes. Damn. And he did a whole song. And my entire plan before that, he did the song, was to go up there and just say the worst things I could think of about him. <laughs> because I was just not happy. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm going to do this. And then he won me over. Dude. He, he Didn't he? Yeah. Because yeah. at good, first, I, I don't really have a problem with prop comics. Like, I know it's like taboo or whatever in the comedy community. But, like, I'll watch it. I'll, I'll have fun with it. And at first, I'm like, this is the dumbest shit I've ever well, seen. one of the jokes. Can we let just yeah. be real? One of the jokes was him like, oh, uh, I... Mario, I met Mario. Yeah, and he tried to pay me with this money, and he just pulled out like a <laughs> printed off picture of like a gold coin yes. from Mario, and that was the joke. Yeah, like yeah. that was it. So I'm like, okay, <laughs> this is. But then the song, I mean, yeah. that was genius. Totally, won, totally won me it over. Brought everybody together. I was, I was, and I wasn't laughing ironically at the. I was at first, I was like, what the fuck is happening? When he started doing those jokes about the Mario and shit, and then at the end, I'm like, I'm legit laughing now, yeah. and I like the song. He'll be there tonight. At, oh, uh, he will be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah we're doing. That's why we gotta leave because we're going to uh, Joker's Wall, uh, hosted by Daniel Harden every second, every Thursday. Second, Thursday. second Thursday, which is always a good time. Hundred dollar prize for the best set. Usually, it goes to whoever brings the most people. So if you <laughs> if, if you if you've never True. done stand up, if you know more than five people, you yeah. can win a hundred dollars. Oh yeah, Hell really yeah. three. Yeah, because if you think about it, comedians don't really bring people. No, like the the ones who come out. And if you bring three people, go up there, and you don't even have to do good, or you could do good. You could do if you if you do okay, and you bring three people, you're winning that bad boy, and yeah. you get a hundred fucking dollars. But you can still yeah. laugh at other people's yeah. stuff. Yeah, just laugh. You get to vote for who you want, but yeah. you can laugh at everybody. That's the key. We don't care who wins, but laugh laugh at everything you think is funny. Because it doesn't go by laughter, and then just vote for your whoever you you came there for. Yeah, yeah. Have yeah. fun. And have fun at shenanigans. Comedy theater. Hey, we're out. Yeah. We got some skits. Hey, Jalen. I got you these Skittles. Thanks, Alex. You my nigga. Whoa, man. Uh, I prefer you didn't call me that. That's kind of y'all's thing. That's kind of y'all's thing. This week's featured comedian. I matched with this one chick the other night, and uh, within like the first 10 minutes of talking to her, she was like, yeah, I'm a lady boy from the Philippines. I see some confused looks. <laughs> if you don't know, that's like, that's like the final boss of transgenders. Uh, level 99. Uh, so I was pretty stoked, <laughs> obviously. But yeah, she lives all the way in Chattanooga, and I'm from Alabama, obviously. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but for me, that's like almost three hours just for some butt. <laughs> it's like, is it worth it? Uh, uh, he said it's not. <laughs> Speaking from experience over here. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he said it's not worth it, but I'm probably going to do it. Uh, I'll be honest. <laughs> probably going to. Uh, not only would that technically be my first threesome, but uh, <laughs> I have proudly claimed to not be transphobic, and I feel like we're gonna find out this weekend. You know, <laughs> we're gonna officially find out. Uh, plus, it would piss my dad off. 
straight up. He's a Baptist preacher. Uh, yeah. Any preacher kids in here? Yeah, that's usually the response. They're in here. Don't worry. They're in. Where's my pen, right. dude? I don't know. You lost your pen. It's already. over there. Thanks, Jack. Look at him. He's so At good. least he's somebody's turn- fucking useful around. 30 he's episodes right in, here? he's turned into a diva. Where's my pen? Do you have cherry seven? <laughs> oh, you want to talk up? about what y'all were saying before the fucking thing? Where's my boom arm, dude? I don't know. I bought mine. Damn. That okay. I brought it in myself. Yeah, you bought yours, and you also told Brandon he could have one. His. You said you were going to get him one. In all fairness, Brandon never remembers anything else oh, we talk about. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's been saying Key and Peely for three years. <laughs> I think it is really cool that you have the boom armor, though. I, w- I do want to say that, and I do think that Brandon should have one. I do, too. Dude, I think you I should have too, one. Too. I think you should have one, but if anybody should have one, it should be Brandon. I pulled yeah, myself up by my own boom arm, dude. <laughs> Y'all should be able to do it as well. <laughs> I agree. No more excuses, dude. Obama was president for eight years. <laughs> <laughs> Not everybody wins re-election. Look at the book. True. True. I think they won, though. It um, doesn't matter how good you are. Yep. Ted J, we got a special guest today, don't yes, we? We do. have a very special guest, man. First yeah. guest in a while, dude. It's been a while. Yeah. This is like three weeks now. So we're only doing, it's only special occasion when guests are coming on here, JJ. Exactly. Yeah, we've, huh? we've upped our fucking regulations. You got to qualify for this shit now, dude. And this next guest does. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Huh? He, he's young in the comedy game, but he's been grinding. Grind. He's been fucking grinding. One of the hardest workers in North Alabama slash all over the place now, dude. Yeah. He's fresh off a trip from fucking Austin, Texas, dude. The hub of comedy in the United States right now. In the world, perhaps. Mm-hmm. Guys, I'm not going to bullshit anymore. Today we have Jonah Blankenship. Hey! Hell yeah. <laughs> thanks yeah, for coming on, man. Oh, thanks for having me, guys. This is very cool. Hell yeah, yeah. dude. We're glad you wore your Pride Month shirt. Yep. <laughs> I had to. We just... This is my favorite month. Yeah. <laughs> and you got the best date of the year, dude. Six slash nine. You got 69, yep. bro. I actually, mm-hmm. uh, wow. I actually came prepared for this. Uh, I came bearing gifts, no. but we're going to wait till after the show. Okay. okay. Oh, damn. Because okay. it's pretty gay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you nice, can dude. know what I'm trying to well, say. You, guys. JJ, and Brandon will have a great yeah. time. <laughs> We're gonna get gay. We're gonna get gay. And Dom's gonna pretend like he's not. He doesn't have his ear up against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I yeah. learned that in Afghanistan. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, in all seriousness, thanks for having me, guys. This is very cool. Hell yeah, course, man. man! Thanks for coming Thank on. You. No bullshit. Yeah. Hey, you. You. He's only. He's only been doing it since. Uh, you know the date. J- uh, January fourteenth. January fourteenth. <laughs> So, like, four months. <laughs> four months, yeah. And fucking smashing. Has did yeah. more mics than me, I believe. I'm pretty sure. Definitely I've been doing it for more mics than I have. Yeah, so you've you done more mics than me in the year in just four months. And you can tell from whenever you first started coming out until, like, uh, recently when we see him, like, oh, my God, you've gotten so fucking good. Yeah. Like, it, fast. I think it's just kind of now kind of clicked. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. the flow of how it works and when to say what not to say and stuff like that reading the room but i'm I'm actually really bad at that still uh yeah in austin there was a whole situation where you guys know i have a lady boy bit uh, yeah. it's actually a true story uh, Hell yeah. yeah thank you alex, <laughs> alex uh, is thank glad. you for your service man. yeah but i was <laughs> telling that bit in austin uh, at roscoe's and there was a lady boy there and uh yeah, it was not. It was not good. Everybody, it felt. It felt like everybody in the crowd was like on edge uh-huh. because they were like they knew. So they were like every time I would say the word "lady boy," they would look at them. And I was like, "Come on, dude. We all want to fuck them." Like, <laughs> 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 I mean, they're pretty hot. You know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just be honest. Yeah. And I was trying to break the tension, and so I actually, <laughs> I actually asked them to stand up. No, I'm just. <laughs> 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 no, but uh, yeah, it was weird. You know, I'm still learning when to say stuff and yeah yeah but i love it when you say you you were uh did you notice uh on thursday there's one in there too yeah yeah i was i'm talking about <laughs> crossing my fingers like, please stay like i think yeah i, think I was she, too I, she yeah i had to see it i just had to see it with my own eyes but i think she left like she left as i was go- going yes yeah, so, i looked okay. at keenan because i i told keenan i was like dude this is gonna go one of two ways it's gonna go amazing or it's gonna go terrible <laughs> because like you you were there. Like the mm-hmm. crowd wasn't No, I, until you got on there. Yeah, the crowd was kind of like it, I didn't, like it almost seemed like they weren't interested in comedy. I was mm-hmm. like, "Eh." And I told Keen, I was like, "This is going to be bad." 
I was like, but I hope she stays because I want this. And then, uh, <laughs> I want this. <laughs> <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> and then as I was going up, she left. I was mm-hmm. like, dang. But I, I was like, I had to had to say it anyways. But, but in all fairness, dude, the odds are stacked against you when you tell that joke. When you're like, I'm from Coleman, Alabama, yeah. and I have a joke about lady yeah. boys. You know, <laughs> the audience has an idea of what you're gonna say. Yeah, yeah, they already know it's gonna be very. Uh, transphobic <laughs> but uh it's really not because i actually you know i'm interested i'm a. <laughs> you're the opposite of transphobic yeah i'm the opposite of transphobic you I got mean, some I, nice tits hey, and nice hey, ass yeah. yeah only only sometimes the front <laughs> yeah only sometimes and, the front and the thing is dude i actually haven't had my first threesome yet so mm. damn dude that would technically be a, a threesome right <laughs> yeah i think mm. so <laughs> be on <with> both right <laughs> no <laughs> What do you think? What do you think, Brandon? Well, it's okay. up to you. You, you decide. You. You okay, decide. so yeah. you said lady boy. So, yeah. I guess it's both right there, right? You, you know got what I mean? You got a choice. You got the back and you got the front. Uh-huh. Right. Sometimes the lady got, and the you, boy, dude. Sometimes you got the third step, which would be the oral mouth. <laughs> the oral mouth. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This got even more like scientific <laughs> than I thought. And like how Family Guy, you remember the episode with the ear? Yeah. You might do that, too. I don't know. He's right. been assessed about this family guy in the ear thing. Dude. So I actually feel even more comfortable doing it. Now. <laughs> Thank you, Brandon. Yeah, see? You have multiple clarified. points of entry. Like now. Yeah. Corral, all clarified. you can eat, right? <laughs> it clarified a lot for me. Now, now, you're from New Mexico, right? No. Oh, okay. Where are you from? I'm oh, actually from Coleman, Alabama. I don't say oh. this a lot. Okay. Uh, I was actually from Coleman. Uh, it's, it's not the greatest place to rep, uh, you know, because... I like being mysterious, too. Mm-hmm. So I just tell people I'm from New Mexico because it's more interesting. Nah. I lived there for like six years. so Okay, okay. I, I feel comfortable repping New Mexico. And I was like homeless, I guess, for a little bit. So like mm-hmm. I lived all over New Mexico, like Roswell, Las Cruces, Albuquerque. I like how you put the air quotes. What, yeah. What I, mean? I mean, I was homeless. <laughs> <laughs> I was homeless. I mean, cause my heart wasn't in it. Because there's, <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's homeless and then there's, you know, the, the grind of homelessness where it's like I have a car I could sleep in a car oh, or okay. I can like grind make some money get a hotel mm-hmm. you know what I mean I wasn't like living and sleeping on a bench like most of them okay yeah. Yeah, yeah. so that's why <laughs> I say homeless shit. because there's a lot of people in New Mexico that literally yeah. sleep under benches you were like pursuit of happiness homeless. yeah, yeah okay, exactly yeah. I was like I was like <laughs> you had to facilities. the real homeless I was living in a mansion <laughs> they were looking at me like look at this rich mother you know what I mean <laughs> I was able, I was actually able to go in a dispensary and buy weed. You know they weren't. Okay. Like, they didn't have IDs. You mm-hmm. know, and I did. Oh, so. damn, dude. Yeah. So I was yeah I was living it up. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, I just say I just tell people I'm from New Mexico because I have a bunch of material in New Mexico, so it's easier to lean into that versus. Oh, I'm from Coleman. I moved to yeah. explaining too much. They don't need. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. It's too too much explaining. But yeah, I'm no. from Coleman. I graduated from West Point. For real? Yeah, West Point. Uh, Shut the fuck up. West Point High School. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's a nice little trick that I tell people. Yeah, West Point High School. It's in Coleman. But okay. There's a little, little <laughs> town. Say, God there's, damn. A, there's a little bitty town in Coleman called West Point, and it has like one red light, maybe mm. two. Uh, and yeah, I graduated from there in 2018. But, and then I just dipped, joined the military, went to Alaska, mm-hmm. lived in Alaska. Where would you live at in Alaska? Qatar? Yeah, I went to Qatar. Or is that a different place than Alaska? That is... Qatar is not... That's a country. Oh. Qatar is in the Middle East, man. (laughs) You actually look like you're from Qatar. Yeah, you do, actually. Surprisingly enough, dude. (laughs) You do, actually. That's where they had the World Cup. (laughs) Me and Brandon don't know. (laughs) (laughs) He spelled it with a K. He spelled it with a K. K. (laughs) It's with a Q. (laughs) Qatar, Alaska. Nope, it's Qatar. Yep. Right there? There we go. Yeah. I don't. But it's not in Alaska, though. <laughs> that is an Alaskan. Oh, is it? Airlines. Wow. Oh, okay. You learn something <clears throat> yeah, that's Alaskan Airlines. I used to fly that all the time. Okay, let's just Shout out to them. You were stationed uh, in, in Alaska, though. Yeah, right? I was stationed at Eilson Air Force Base. What kind of okay. flag is that, dude? Right there. There. Yeah, that's Qatar. I was stationed it's there. Ass flag, I went dude. there for wow. nine months. It was during COVID, so I got extended. Mm. Yeah. Did you get to go out? Uh, So. A bunch of my friends were scared to just because they were like, oh, my God, we're in the Middle East. And mm-hmm. I was like, fuck it, dude. I don't, if I'm going to die, I'm going to die. Fuck it. Yeah, so yeah. I went out like the first week we were there. I saw all kinds of shit. Uh, I almost flew to Dubai, but my supervisor was like, you can't do that. And I was like, oh, shit. Okay. So I just ended up going seeing all of Qatar. And then the next week, COVID happened. 
And uh-huh. so we were on lockdown. You could not leave. You couldn't go into the city. And so I was one of the only people on that tour that actually got to leave the base and oh, see shit. Oh, that's tight. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Uh, Qatar is a cool cool little country. Uh, they're very peaceful. They have like this place called the Souks. It's like a street market. And you can like literally trade like shoes for watches and like hats for purses and it's weird. I got mm. like free. I got like basically free Yeezys because they were like, "Oh, G Shock, G Shock," and it was real Yeezys. And I was like, "Fuck yeah, dude!" Damn. I traded them. Mm. They yeah. make them over there or something? I <laughs> don't know. Probably. <laughs> yeah, like a swap meet. Flea yeah, it was market. a fucking G Shock. <laughs> like probably fifty nine dollar G Shock uh. for Yeezys. Oh, oh yeah. Damn. You gotta take that every time. And they're real. I got them authenticated. Oh shit. Ooh. Yeah, I'm real like that. <laughs> <laughs> We could tell by the buggy's hat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm playing no games. <laughs> I don't think you could buy a fake Bucky's hat if you tried. Fuck dude. No. no. Hell no. Who's I've making rip offs of that, dude? I've actually tried and you can't. <laughs> they don't make them. Dom, it's a good idea for us, man. <laughs> <laughs> we need some money in the clown college. We, right? we do, we do. We just uh we spent fifty on the uh what's that thing called? To make us clips. Opus. Yep. The so software. We, so we have netted fifty dollars and Almost a year. Lost 50. Well, because we made money on this live show. No, we didn't. No, we, we lost a lot. <laughs> we lost a lot yeah, of we money. Did. We did. Really? Lose, oh, hundreds. God. Yeah, why? hundreds. Big money. Well, I mean, you probably don't want to get into why, but. No, we'll, no, we'll talk about it. <laughs> we don't get it. We, we tried some uh, some marketing tactics, and they didn't pan out the way that we'd hoped. Did you, yeah. just, you boost it on Instagram and shit? Oh, boosted on everything. Like, Made dead, like took a day out, shot ads, yeah. dedicated yeah. ads, targeted ads. They uh-huh. just. I mean, I even told you that I was impressed with how much y'all promoted it. Yeah, though. we and actually. I, I think tried. that was yeah. very impressive, and I think it was worth it, even if it was a fifty dollars loss. Oh no 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 no! It was uh, over five hundred. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like seven hundred. But no, but what people even that though? I mean, fuck it. Yeah, it doesn't. It's not a big deal. We did it in knowing that we were going to lose money. We pretty much knew. Yeah, and it was a badass show. I was there. I enjoyed it. Appreciate it, dude. Dude, it was super fun. Y'all kept it going. The fuck, uh, the skit. (laughs) (laughs) He just looks at Brandon. (laughs) Dude, that skit was so funny. I haven't, I haven't actually laughed like. Out loud like that in a long time. Oh was, man, we appreciate yeah. it. The bed was just like <laughs> <laughs> so funny. And you see Charlie on the other yeah, side. Yeah, you can see him oh if you God. look close. He's pressing the button. Yeah. <laughs> gosh, how much fucking Cheeto dust is on that button? <laughs> oh my gosh. Doritos. Oh, oh, it's so funny. Purple bag. Now, now you were talking about how you're from Coleman. We have a fun uh, clip right here. Uh oh. Brandon doesn't know. You know he's a producer. Uh, it's on uh, what a YouTube. Uh, tab it. Oh my god! Oh, is it the trailer? Yes. yes. So uh, yes. I did the craziest. Make sure you turn is, your mic off, though. Jonah right. sent me this Where? right before this episode, and I saw this on my like feed right before you sent it to me. Oh really, dude? This is great. Hi, I'm Robert Lee. I own Coleman Liquidation. <laughs> I sell mobile homes. I'm not gonna waste your time. I'm gonna tell it just like it is. These are mobile homes, not mansions. They come in two pieces. If that's what you're looking for, that's what I got. (laughs) They're used. Some of them have stains. We cover that up. (laughs) She decorates them. She sells them. These guys. Dude, that's Rhett and Link. (laughs) In the middle. Oh my gosh, it is. A bouncer in Birmingham hit me in the face with a crescent wrench five times. And my wife's boyfriend broke my jaw with a fence post. So if you don't buy a trailer from me, it ain't gonna hurt my feelings. Chopping <laughs> <laughs> down. So come on ways. down to Coleman Liquidation and get yourself a home, or don't. I don't care. I'm trying to see where that <laughs> is in Coleman. I don't really even recognize where that is. And it's a real. This is a real place. Yeah, this thing. is a real place. This yeah. is a real thing. This is apparently because uh, I sent it to a bunch of friends today, you guys included. And some people have been like, oh, this came out like four years ago. I feel like it was longer because the the I Love Local Commercials thing was a Rhett and Link production. That's what they did before they started their YouTube channel was they went around and made these crazy commercials for local businesses. Show they did on IFC. Oh, mm. damn. See, I didn't even – I just remember the seeing one thickens. at a furniture store. They did whatever – Foot massage. Yeah, whatever, Jones Barbecue and Foot massage. massage. Oh, they did that mm. one. That was theirs. Yeah, the, for the furniture store. Somebody had said they did something else today too. I can't remember what it was, but 
They said they did something else. That. On the first time I watched it, I, I didn't, didn't either. even know it was Rhett and Link. I didn't That's either. fucking wild. That's dude. funny. You know, you know, Rhett and they're like a no. they're good, huge good on mystical YouTube. morning oh, or whatever, okay. right? Yeah. yeah. They're huge on YouTube. They, and they've been around forever. Humongous. But that was real still, right? That was a real commercial. Yeah, it's a real commercial. Yeah, yeah, it's a real commercial. No, they were in the commercial. They, they were in the commercial. They helped shoot make it. it. Oh. That was their TV show. They went around and helped local businesses make commercial, but they would always be crazy like that. Yeah. Oh. Did you see the Jones barbecue and foot massage one? Can yeah, you look yeah, that? yeah, I've seen okay. that one. I've seen that, that one. That was their commercial. Oh, too. okay, okay. Yeah. Jones that barbecue. barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh, dude. Jake sold yeah, already. There they are. Right <laughs> yeah, good mythical morning. Yeah, that's their thing right there. Yeah, yeah foot massage. massage. I actually just watched one that they did uh, the other day. It was uh, they were seeing which fast food place had the best fries or whatever. And I was like, I think it. Uh, Wendy's won, I think. Damn, man. Wendy's? I think so. It was Wendy's or somewhere what? somewhere that had like natural cut like yeah. baked potatoes. Basically, uh, it was something okay. like that. I can't remember. Well, give me the. I'm, MSG, I'm giving dude. fake news yeah. out here. I'm spreading false info. Better come down here, get some of this shit. You like to eat? America loves to eat. So why not open up somewhere America can sit down, enjoy a meal, and get their feet rubbed? We'll (laughs) fry anything you want for $5.99. As long as it's friable or edible, we're going to make it deliciable. We will fry parts of the chicken you didn't even know were friable. The beak, the feathers, we'll fry candy bars. All that European stuff that you don't really normally eat, we'll bring it down here and fry it for you. (laughs) Guess what you're going to get? Nothing. If it fit through the dough, I'll put it in a fry. Hell, this is a dinosaur. All our meats are. Hell, this is a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so I random. I love it. We got five dinosaur okay, meats. Took my money, paid me, paid child support. Come on down here and get you a slice. <laughs> Once they get the first kid, I'll be motivated. Motivated, motivated, motivated. So, friends, let's just decide you don't want no barbecue. Well, that's fine too. Why not let one of my foot oh specialists or myself perform my magic? Look at that. Look at that wonderful. Dan if Schneider you really pay me enough, we'll massage your feet in any of these sauces also. Did I try to do that? This, ends, this, ends, ends, this can end at any point. Yeah. <laughs> right when the Dan Schneider stuff started coming out, I was into it. I was like, oh, yeah, this is dope. This is hilarious. <laughs> I mean, it's fucked up to say, but it was pretty funny to me. So I instantly, you know, as a comedian, you want to make it a bit, right? So I tried making it a bit. I tried working it out for like literally a month. And it's almost like nobody knew what the fuck I was talking about. Too old. I had to explain. I was like, oh, yeah, Drake Bell got raped. And then by that, by that point, nothing's funny. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like I couldn't even tell the bit. So I just gave up on it. But then recently somebody else has been doing it, and it's actually been funny. So shout out to them. Like somebody in local or... Uh yeah, I think so in Birmingham. Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, it's just yeah. I tried doing it when it first came out, and it was just like everybody was like, "What the fuck is this?" Dan Schneider is that the comedian? They think it's Rob <laughs> Sh- Schneider. <laughs> oh, no. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, like, everybody think they always think it's him for they some. They might reason. be related, dude. <clears throat> you can do it. Yeah, that dude crazy. Also, I just I have to say this real quick. I was under the impression that Adam Silver was black my entire life. This motherfucker, Jonah, oh, when he out there, he was dead serious when he thought Adam Silver was black. I still kind of think he's black. And the he's NBA guy? Not yeah. out yet. Nah, See, no. I'm not even really big in the NBA, and I know he's white. <laughs> yeah. Right. I mean, he's like one of the whitest yeah. people. He's like, Lex, he's like Lex Luthor. Well, he's so well, white. Okay, but when I look at him, I know he's... <laughs> This is this might be just as bad as Francis and Ghana with Brandon. I don't think that's it though. I just thought this guy, this gentleman, was African American. He's no. the whitest person I've ever seen. But when my yeah. eyes like see him, shit, if he's black, I'm gonna start saying I'm black. <laughs> I'm gonna start saying something else, dude. <laughs> <laughs> but no, when I see him, I just my eyes are telling my brain that he's not like me. He's like, al- <laughs> and, like albino. And but no, he's a Jew. <laughs> then that's okay. what I figured so out. He's basically uh. black. That's what, <laughs> that's what Kanye said. Yeah. yeah, I'm just saying what Kanye said. Yeah. I'm not going to say hey, what ethnicity this guy is. Yeah. Let's not lump the Jews in with us. Damn, damn. I'm just saying that's we, what Kanye we looked said. Up, we looked up how many uh, blacks were killed by the Nazis. Not that many, actually. On like nice. it was, it was like enough yeah, to be like. Yeah, because there's no black people in there Germany. There was black people over there. Look it up, dude. Ugh. They probably just black scared people. The yeah, look it up. Germans. The Nazis did look up the black Nazis population didn't like in Germany. Black people. On the same black note, population in Germany, 1940s. On the, on the same note, Jones Barbecue Foot Massage was not Rhett and Link. 
Oh, damn. Uh, well, <laughs> well, this isn't the only false info that can be in this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we will see that now. <laughs> no, we got to put Germany, man. Oh, yeah, Germany. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, that's oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> Did you sit, but do you know the whole story with them and Jesse Owens at the Olympics? I watched the movie. Yeah. Yeah. I went with a girl to watch the movie. Yeah, yeah they got I can uh, imagine. Jesse Owens movie? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. I still haven't seen it. A while back. Brandon, this is... I can what? do demographics. Oh. Side. I can't even Look, see. Bro, Why what are we it bringing is, up is, charts, dude? I don't know why I'm bringing Canadian? up charts, but yeah. there wasn't. There's like 14 people killed by uh, black people, and that could be accurate. Yeah, that's gonna be. That's gonna be false. It could 100%. just be hit and runs. Yeah, yeah. And hit, then. Yeah, dude. <laughs> but what I'm saying is the neo Nazis got it wrong. Germans didn't dislike Jew. Uh, no, nah, nah, they definitely dislike the Jews, but uh, blacks or gay people, right? They didn't like anybody that wasn't white and German. No, nah, that's not true. That is they, true. They, they, you could be a black Frenchman and be over there. They wouldn't kill you just because you're a black. Now, if you were Jewish, they would just kill you or put you in a camp. They they hated Jews. They had extermination camps for Jews. Yeah. They I need to like... call my buddy real quick. I'm going to call him. He's a history teacher. That's is he? <laughs> I have a He's, degree. He has history. a degree in yeah. history. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> so yeah. They, they hated Teach everybody us. that were not. See, white you're, you're trying to lump. They didn't. They, did, okay. they didn't really hate black people. Is what I'm trying to say. And Hitler wasn't a bad guy. They definitely hated Hitler, black people. So, so what's <laughs> the whole? This is the so, most insane thing. <laughs> right behind you could defeat a cheetah in hand to hand combat. You, wasn't the whole deal with Hitler that he was an artist, right? Yeah. <laughs> he was. Yes. A, he was a painter. I don't think that was the biggest deal. <laughs> But that was part that of was it. one of the that was one of the biggest deals, right? Is he it, was a painter and yeah. they didn't like the I'm Jewish people you. didn't like his painting, so he was like, <laughs> "That was Fuck not this. Yeah. That was absolutely not what." <laughs> That's what Reddit told me, dude. Yeah, they'll yeah. tell you. Things I believe like it that. now. That That's I'm what Reddit told me. He applied for an art school in Austria or like Vienna or something, and they're like, "Nah, man, you suck." Damn. Okay. And then so I was you right. know he got into politics after that, <laughs> you know, uh-huh. and he started doing the beer hall push, and he got some cool guys to team up with him, and then he started killing the Jews, man. So what part of this has been bad? <laughs> wait, wait, whoa! Some some would argue he knew that the, he knew that the Jewish community like controls all of the art. Yeah. So he was just trying to Jonas so- own it. Wait. Holy shit, yeah. I just figured this out. Dog, we're figuring oh, shit out on Clown I just Clown, figured baby. this yeah, out. They should have accepted All him. the famous <laughs> Jewish artists. Dude. He was just an artist trying to go to the top. He was getting rid of his competition, bro. So yeah, it's like, like the Joker. Michelangelo. Exactly. The Joker. Renowned this is all making sense, yeah. <laughs> The Joker is. This is. And, and those pesky Jews got in the way. Whoa. Well, right, no. This is gonna you were with me just a second ago, Brandon. No, no. Hold on. I was saying it's this weird. This is definitely like getting demonetized. I wasn't agreeing I we was don't, saying, I we don't get monetized. I, I hope you don't want fucking Dr. Squatch. is the least of our problems. <laughs> I hope you don't want Dr. Squatch sponsoring you because we would actually we would actually love Dr. Squatch. I use it all the but time. But I thought yeah. you called Jew stinky before. I'm pretty sure that's on record. Is he a Jew? The Dr. Squatch guy? Uh, he's a doctor, so probably. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> You're okay though. Some of them are good. <laughs> oh my god. Now he's looking up if Dr. Squatch is a Jew. <laughs> Yeah, this, this is, is the best producer. This is Dr. Yeah, this Squatch is coach I love this. kosher, dude. Uh, it's a straight up from America. You can't be American and Dr. a Jew. Squ- he's American? Yeah, nah. there we go. See, we get, hey, Dr. Squatch, we're here. Do you think Sasquatch is real? Let's no. be honest. Yes. You yes, do? Yes. He's sitting right there, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going no. Not in, no. There's so many seasons of that show. They used to, but they it's died like, oh, off. But still they trying found to find oh, Bigfoot. Oh, dude. The funniest thing I've ever seen. You know, like the Nelk Boys, the Happy Dad. They make yeah, yeah, the yeah. Happy Dad sell That's who makes this? Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Dude, they... <laughs> We are a right wing podcast. Like <laughs> yeah. Trump, and, uh, Trump, clearly had, by this conversation, <laughs> Trump has drank this. Really? Oh, yeah. Statistically, DT, he probably has. 2024. <laughs> I didn't agree with that. The, the Nelk Boys have this amazing YouTube video where they prank like a Bigfoot expert and they get a guy Shut to hide out up. in the woods in a Bigfoot costume. Out behind the house, and they see him, and they're like, and the dude is like stunned, yeah, and they're freaking out, and it's beautiful. they send a guy to go talk to the Bigfoot, and he comes back, he's like, the Bigfoot wants to fuck you in the ass. Yeah. They're talking to the Bigfoot expert, and he's like, I don't know, man. He's like, like he's a, he's it. not into it at first, but then he eventually agrees. Yeah, Shut the fuck. And up. then like they find like he finds out it's a prank, and they have to sprint and like yeah. drive away because the dude is like. Pissed, bro. Damn, yeah, they. Yeah, oh, it's, I gotta it's one funny. of the funniest videos. They have a bunch of really made. funny. Pranks. Did he get fucked in the ass? Though? 
Bur- no, if you were there, <laughs> things would have been different. Brandon needs he to avoided know. it, though. Yeah, the Bigfoot yeah. actually get Fuck him. Bigfoot. But, yeah, they were real at one point in time. Brandon, the Bigfoot was a cop. They died off, I believe. <laughs> it wasn't real. <laughs> no. The Nazis killed Bigfoot. The thing is, like, Nelk, they, like, I started watching them in, like, 2016. All they did was pranks. Like, they used to go into, like, Publix and try and, like, give, give, uh, be like, oh, yeah, these condoms didn't work or whatever. <laughs> And then, like, try to give back an open, like, an open uh-huh. condom or whatever. And just shit like that. And, like, they would go and, like, pretend to be, like, Walmart employees and just smoke weed and shit, like, in front of customers and stuff. And now they're just, like, all they do is just, like, go vlog and stuff. So it's really not as funny. But they have so much money now uh-huh. that when they do decide to do pranks like that, it's fucking hilarious. Like, yeah. the Bigfoot one was really funny. That one's crazy. Yeah, it's yeah. What, what is that? Is that the same dudes that like Andrew Schultz went on and they didn't air the podcast? Yeah, yeah. They, so he, which one was the little bitch that? Bore? That's Steiny. He kind of okay. came on later. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so he wasn't with the originals. He wasn't with the originals. The Maybe originals, I like the Note Boys. The originals I didn't like that was motherfucker. Like a, they're not even the originals aren't even really on there anymore. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. It was just two dudes at first. Yeah, it was Kyle and Jesse. Jesse. Yeah. yeah, and Jesse's he doesn't do it anymore. Well, they saw they sold it or. No, Jesse just wanted to do his own thing, I think. He's trying mm. to do, like, his own yeah. brand. He didn't like being in the public eye, yeah. mm. like, eventually. Because they did do crazy shit. I think when COVID first started, they, like, yeah, they, they were, pretended, like, like, a patient zero escaped, and they were, like, chasing yeah. this dude in, like, a hazmat yeah. suit wow. in, like, a Target. <laughs> yeah. And people were losing their fucking yeah. shit. Yeah, they did a bunch of bunch of weird shit. They're bur- but Jesse went to jail a bunch for like that's yeah. cl- that's one of the reasons why he stopped is because he went to jail a lot because he was the only one that would actually like be ballsy enough to do it. Like he literally walked into a bank with blood all over him. Oh, like, I remember saying that, that he killed somebody or something and the cops came obviously. Yeah. I don't yeah. even think he can leave Canada yeah. anymore. Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's like something he crazy. got in a lot of trouble with the law <laughs> doing oh, that shit. shit. We should start doing that. Yeah, they don't yeah. play. I would do. I would. I love to do. I wouldn't do. I would do pranks, but like not nothing to get arrested. I was a huge like impractical that. jokers guy. Yeah. So like, oh, I would love. There. I would love to do shit like that. You like, know. You know, my shit used to be scare what? tactics. Oh like. fuck yeah! You <laughs> like scare with Tracy tactics? Morgan? Fuck. Yes. Dude, me and my dad used to watch that. Hell all the yeah, time. dude! I remember the ones that we watched on YouTube. That that shit is crazy. They're so You'd be like, this bitch just got scared. Yeah, there he is. Wasn't well, Joey Diaz? <laughs> yeah, he used to. He did a couple of them. Like the we set up a Walmart supply truck to <laughs> crash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was a uh, one that I remember <laughs> where it was like this. Ch- they were they were getting a bunch of girls to come like try out this tanning product or whatever. <laughs> And this girl like put on this cream and it like started and started making her skin like red and so I don't think it, it was two girls right they didn't know each other one they didn't an, know each other yeah one was an actor and one wasn't they yep. put on the cream and the girl that was an actor obviously started like breaking out and like she died yep or Man. whatever and so the other girl was like freaking out like I'm, this is gonna happen to me it was really funny I like the one where there it is like a disease thing they're like oh yeah. you got exposed to this thing and that. The re- the person who doesn't know what's going on, they watch the actor walk into the fucking tent and they like set it on fire yeah. Yeah. and burn <laughs> the person alive. And they're like, "What the fuck, dude?" dude. Yeah, that's a good ass show. What was that one where he like it was the mafia member? Yes, and he know, pretended to, to kill his it. friend or something, and it was like he, hiding the body. He was like, "I'll help you, just don't kill he, me." He was one of those like like. uh White guys who kind of act black a little bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then not like so, me. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you fuck black bitches, so it's good. Uh, now, but let's say, <laughs> so, so look, he he put him in a trunk, and he was like, he he like shot him, like boom, boom, boom. He was like, and you're next. He was like, dude, I didn't even know him. I didn't even know him. <laughs> he was like, he was like, look, if you let me go, I'll, I'll help you hide the body. <laughs> yeah. He was so down. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Another. Really I think good I would have been too. Another really really fun one is. This girl went to go babysit like this little kid, and apparently the little kid was like haunted or whatever, and like made the TV come on and stuff, and was like, "I'm gonna kill you" and stuff like that. <laughs> he had the doll and shit. Yeah, had like the doll yeah. and stuff. Yeah, it's but a fun one. I love how much production value they put behind oh, yeah. these things yeah. to make it seem real. Yeah, and they don't stop it when somebody just starts. Like they'll let you cry for a little bit, dude. But if you look back, it's so fake. Like yeah. if you really look back at like how like how it looked. It kind of is kind of like cheesy. Yeah. It's like, what do you mean? 
like just like, the like, little, the, like the like the little midget baby alien. No, 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 like, <laughs> like yeah, yeah, like that, like how like the like the prosthetics and shit. Like now, if they did that now, I feel like they could do it so much better. Yeah, yeah you know they could, I mean? but I don't think it matters in the moment because if you see somebody give birth to a little demon, that's midget, true. That's you're true. not thinking like oh that's, that that's ear, a good right? point. You know, you don't give a fuck. You're this like, is ah! an MTV. That's show. a really good point. That's a really yeah. good point. Yeah, you're scared. I mean, you're yeah. you're either scared or so confused that you're like you're trying to make sense of something. True. Yeah. I, I know would, I I would I, guess I would never is, right? be like is this a uh, is this a prank show Yeah that, that was <laughs> you gonna know be what I'm saying I'd be seeing it from our point that is right like yeah you wouldn't yeah. think that oh shit this is Tracy Morgan's <laughs> behind that curtain <laughs> probably yeah you're right yeah. I would love to see Dom on an episode of What Would You Do Oh man where he just does the complete wrong thing because <laughs> I know he would man I'd be so I'm so scared of getting on one of those shows I w- I would <laughs> I would help out like if it was like I mean I seen one it was like. Uh, you shouldn't be hanging around with him because he's black. I would have probably called a little motherfucker a little bitch. Yeah. Told, hey, don't let him talk to you like there's, that. There's definitely deleted scenes somewhere that is a bunch of shit like that. <laughs> yeah. I would love to see you on one where like uh, a lady drops like $1,000 out of her purse and you just pick it up <laughs> and run away. <laughs> I would give it back to her, dude. <laughs> I would. I probably I would. would. Get- Old people, well, I would give it back to anybody. I did it before. I went to the gas station and gave $20 because somebody dropped it. I walked back in there. I'm like, dude, you dropped this. Okay. It was a regular. It wasn't even that. an old person. I found a hundred dollars <laughs> in Walmart one time, and uh, I kept that shit. Well, if nobody's yeah. around, of course you keep it. <laughs> yeah, because anybody give it to the. It. Yeah, they're just if you give it back to, well, you can give it to Walmart, this multi-billion dollar true exactly. company. True, they don't need it. We true, go, we do. Mm-hmm. But there are also like those prank, like not really prank shows, but like those people on Instagram that'll drop their wallet or like a hundred dollar oh, wallet, yeah. and then they're like, they watch you steal it, and then they're like, oh, you're a terrible person. I've yeah. I've actually like I've been super high in Walmart. Like I was really high when that happened, and I was like looking around like, oh shit, like somebody's gonna come up and be like, oh, that was mine. This is you're on YouTube now, and then everybody <laughs> hates me. <laughs> Fuck it, hey, there's no bad views. All right. <laughs> That's just what happens when you. Smoke Delta Eight you know, <laughs> before you go into Walmart. But there's a bunch of like Nelk Boys copycats out there on Instagram who do shit that is just purely fucked up. Like yeah. I saw one where like they get a a Walmart employee to get the case that, like the AirPods out of the case, and they go up to oh, this yeah. lady <gasps> and interview her. And oh like, yeah. Hey, pick a number one through ten, and she's like seven, and she's like very <laughs> sweet. And, like you just want new AirPods, and then yeah. they film her walking out, and the <laughs> alarm <laughs> starts going. Yeah, funny. dude. I've <laughs> seen that. So it's funny. It's funny, but it is really that is hilarious. Up. <laughs> That's hilarious. Like that is hilarious. <laughs> but she's like with her up. husband, and they're like. You know, the old people walking <laughs> out. <laughs> it's, just, it's so sad. Yeah, it's hilarious. That's fucking good shit, dude. I'm just mad I didn't think of it. Because <laughs> that is really? genius. That is pretty funny. That's good. <laughs> Planting stolen merchandise on the elderly. <laughs> just watch it. Nothing walk like out. it, dude. Yeah, nothing There's like nothing it. There's nothing like it. Uh, <laughs> Do you, did you guys, have you guys ever stole from anywhere? Oh, fuck yeah. What the what the jail for? Oh, really? Dang. Yeah, but back in the day. But uh, I stole from Walmart after I, I tore my MCL in football, right? Mm-hmm. And then I went to Walmart in crutches. We used to steal, we used to steal shit all the time from Walmart. It, like literally, we had a big. We lived in Illinois, so we had them big coats, and we would stuff uh, car speakers down mm-hmm. our fucking bicep. And like we would steal everything. We stole uh, hubcaps, spinner hubcaps. So literally anything you could think of. But we went there one. The only time we got caught, I was still in Cologne. And I took it out the package and took the little thing off, but they had another one inside the box. Mm. And so I'm on crutches, and we have to run while I'm on crutches through this woods. And, like, we, we went to somebody's, like, farm, I guess, because we didn't know where it was before GPS and all that shit. Right. And I was trying to go through a farm, and dude clicked the shotgun. He was like, y'all get out of here. We were like, sorry, we're just lost. And all this is on a torn MCL. And for, like, Damn. two or three miles. And we went to D-Lo's house, and he was like, y'all can't bring that heat around here and made us leave. <laughs> Damn, Damn D-Lo. What D-Lo's the fuck, dude? They didn't want the, he didn't want the cops to find his meth stash. <laughs> dude, I had like this really... It was actually kind of genius, but I, I used to do it all the time. I'd go into like this Chevron, right? Mm-hmm. And I would wear like long like long shorts with like an oversized t-shirt. And I would walk in there and I would get two tall boys. And I would stuff them in like my waistband, uh-huh. put my shirt over. And I would try and go buy cigarettes, right? Yeah, and they'd just tell me to fuck off because I didn't <laughs> have my ID, and I'd be like, okay, and then I would just walk out. But then I had the tall boys, you know what I mean? So it was kind of like a distraction. Hey, respect. <laughs> Hell yeah, it worked it's every time. It's genius, dude. Because like if you just walk in there and stuff them in and walk out, like it's weird, right? But if yeah. you go in there and you like 
pant around. They look at you and you're like, this dude's acting weird. You go try and buy cigarettes when you're 15. They're like, oh, that's why he's acting weird. Just fuck yeah. off. That's actually and then you walk a good out idea, with, dude. And you walk out with tall boys. Underage kids everywhere. Yes. Listen to these do words. That. Do, that's yeah. solid. Do that's exactly solid. Do it. I wish I would have known. It a works months every ago. time, bro. <laughs> I did that to get these, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still doing it, and I can buy alcohol. <laughs> but it's free. But it's free. It works yeah. forever. Yeah. Yeah. Timeless. <laughs> So uh, you also uh, do a uh, a wing challenge. I mean, a, a wing rating system, right? Yeah, wing right. review Wednesdays. Wing review. I we was trying to get it have out. a couple scores pulled up, no, dude. Let's see what oh, okay. B W W and Coleman, mm. Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm assuming. Yes. B Dubs. Fuck them, but yes. Honey garlic eight and a half. Has that score changed due to recent? Oh uh, yeah, it's probably a two now. Okay. Okay. Really? Fair. Fair. I have this thing where uh, me and Buffalo Wild Wings just we don't we have a love hate relationship, and by that I mean my ex works there. Oh, yeah. okay, okay. Then we got Casino El Camino. You got the Mild in Austin, Texas, eight point three. Oh yeah, that actually it's kind of low. Yeah, thinking thinking now because I went back when I was in Austin and I got the same flavor. I didn't record it, but uh, it was actually better this time. So it's probably an eight point seven. Okay, okay. Still good score. Good, still good wings. It's almost half a letter grade, dude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's a huge improvement. Very good, very good. But I know Hangry Joe's, that's the little one where you had to sign the waiver. Yeah, that one was just kind of like, I just want to be funny. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was zero. Yeah, <laughs> I feel you, dude. But A-Town Wings, dude. Oh, dude, that place is so good. Now, this is the one that I recommended yeah. for Jonah to do for his yeah, wing review show. This place is so good. The only gripe is that their wings are small as shit, dude. Very yeah, they're they are very wings. small wings. They're tasty. The Cajun Ranch fries, dude, knock your fucking socks off. But they do yeah. got some small-ass wings. Mm-hmm. So. Very good. I actually, when I went, I got the six count, I think, mm-hmm. and I ate them very quickly. And so I went really, I literally went right back and got six more. Hell yeah. I like the lemon pepper hot from there. That's what I got. That's what I got. Lemon yeah. pepper hot. Hell yeah, dude. Come on, man. You yeah. want to do the rest of them, dude? I know numbers aren't really your thing, but. Oh, you got Slim Chickens <laughs> at Buffalo Nine? Yep. And then the Wing Bar, <laughs> <laughs> Atlanta, Georgia at 8, 9.4. That was the best one? Yeah, that's the best one so far. Okay. okay. Uh, the vibe's very good. You walk in there. And there's nowhere to sit. It's just a, a wing bar. You oh, like a dish. Yeah, you just walk in there, and uh, they're like, what do you want, sweetie? And you just tell them, and they give it to you, and you just walk outside and try not to get shot because you're in downtown Atlanta. Mm. Damn. It's like survival. <laughs> so it's That's worth what it. But, it's worth, but it makes it worth it. It makes it, it worth it because you survive, and you're like, wow, that was really good for, you know. Yeah, let's just move on. <laughs> <laughs> we'll edit this out. Dude, I just read this one. I have to ask you about this. You don't have any memory before the age of 10? No, not really. What? Damn. From a freak four-wheeling accident. Yep. Yeah, when I was, I think I was 9 or 10, I, uh, this is actually really stupid, uh, but I'm going to tell you guys anyways. This is just how stupid I was as a kid, really. Uh, when I was 9... I really wanted a four-wheeler, right? And so I think it was like two days before Christmas, we were going to go to my sister's house. And my parents used to park in like this separate garage. And so we were going into the car, and I saw a green little four-wheeler sitting there. And I was like, oh, my gosh, there's a four-wheeler. And they were like, oh, and they just put me in the car and drove off. And like the whole way to my sister's, they had like gaslit me into believing that I had wanted a four-wheeler so bad that I just imaginated that I saw, or like I just thought that I saw one. The gas let me to believe in that, right? So I was like, okay. And so I get the four wheeler for Christmas, and they're like, oh, and I, I was like, I guess I was, I guess you were right. I really did just want it so bad that I thought I saw it because I actually got the same four wheeler. They just tricked me, right? I was just that retarded. <laughs> um, so I got the four wheeler. <laughs> you too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're in the same boat, dude. <laughs> uh, but I got the four-wheeler and took off full speed whoo, like that, right? Mm-hmm. Just flip it, dude. And the four-wheeler just falls on me, hits me in the head, hits me in the dick. That was the first time that I'd av- actually ever hurt my balls, like, uh. for the first time. Uh, yeah, it was the first time I ever experienced pain in my nutsack and uh, also my head. And, yeah, now I just don't really remember any any memory 
past the age or before the age of ten. Man, that's fucking wild. Yeah. My my family. My, <laughs> my, my, that, crazy, I mean, dude. sorry to end on a on a on a rough note, but uh, uh, no, no, we yeah, ended. But yeah, my uh, my 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 parents will be like, oh yeah, I remember when you were seven and you did this, and I'll be like, no, like I remember th- I remember like bits and pieces. Honestly, even 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 before fifteen, it's kind of like blurry. Holy shit! Yeah, I might have been raped or something. Damn yeah. man! Mm. But you wouldn't know. Yeah, I wouldn't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I need to do ketamine or something. <laughs> Getting that yeah. K hole, dude. You would <laughs> Would you do DMT? Oh yeah. You would. I uh I've actually always wanted to. I, I hear it's it's either great or terrible. Yeah. Why why risk that? It could be great though. Yeah, but it could be absolute horse shit. Yeah, but you're still gonna be alive. You know what I mean? Uh, at the end of the day, it's just like uh, it was just in your brain. Because yeah. isn't, I think. isn't DMT really just what your body releases before you die? Isn't Let's that find what it out. is? It's like it comes from your penal <laughs> gland, I believe. Penal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's isn't that one. what Mike Tyson called the toad or something <laughs> like that? Yeah. Mm. I think he actually sucks. What? I actually think he <laughs> sucks. <laughs> Venom from a toad, though. I think it's different. Yeah. You lick the frog, uh, right? Yeah, he licks yeah. an actual frog, I believe. But How this is it? different. This is like shit that you... you. Yeah, I'm not even going to try and How is this it. suicidal? They were like, you need help. You just call. What the fuck? <laughs> as soon as I watch the One time House I episode, <laughs> I'll tell you guys. Every time I look up, like, how much is this... And, like, how much is this drug in grams? <laughs> they'll be like, give me a hotline for, like... The help. SAMHSA for like help. Yeah, <laughs> they give me that one a lot, and I'm like, dude, I didn't think my porn search was that weird. Okay. Exactly. So like, if you struggle with addiction, call this number. And I'm like, I'm just curious. Uh, yeah, dude. I just want to know sure? a little yeah. something. I'm just trying to get my my street knowledge up. Educate myself, dude. Ready to read it? Read what it is. Oh, okay. see, Let's look right here. See, look, help is available. Yep, suicide hotline. But uh, <clears throat> here we go. <laughs> DMT, dime. Thigh, mm-hmm. let's try a mean. Yep. I don't know. I that was said perfect. It wrong. No, no, that was perfect. That was good. It yeah. was exactly how it's right. pronounced. Well, yeah. it is a very strong psychedelic found in a number of animals and plants, and it can also affect the sense, altering a person's thinking, sense of time, and emotion. Psychedelics can cause you to hallucinate seeing or hearing things that don't exist or distorted. DMT is structurally similar to psycho bends, magical mushrooms. And it's known to produce short acting and intense visual hallucinations. From my understanding, yeah. it's basically just like a hundred times what shrooms is, like just shorter. Hmm. What about that? Yeah. So like, isn't oh. this like a fifteen minute high or something? Yeah. yeah, it's like not long at all. Like you oh. really, you pass out. You're just like uh, overwhelming. Okay. Dude. Yeah. And then, so you're like dreaming out loud. Yeah. Yeah. You have like an outer body experience. Dream out loud. Yeah. I feel like that's a comedy show somewhere, dude. Some <laughs> shitty fucking comedy yeah. show. They're dreaming out loud, dude. That's what it's doing. Yeah. So you, you never just dream out loud, bro? <laughs> <laughs> All my dreams are pretty silent, dude. I think. I dream I'm out asleep. loud. I don't need do, to dream out loud. Do you ever have a dream that's a reoccurring? Like not in not when you're younger, but when you're older, and it like scares you, wakes you up type shit. Oh yeah. 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 What's yeah, yours? Yeah. Uh, like I actually had this dream. It happened three or four times, like in a row, dude. Uh, but it would wake me up out of sleep every time. It was just me getting shot. Damn. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It was just literally, I was just walking in like Coleman and just getting shot. And I'd wake Damn. up and be like, "Oh shit, I'm 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 like in the bed." See, mine's the exact opposite. I always have this dream, and it's been going on for many years now, where I act either kill somebody somehow. Like sometimes it's an accident. Sometimes it's like. They needed to die, but I did it. And then I hid the body and, like, got away with it. But, like, throughout the dream, like, as I dream longer, I'm getting closer to getting caught. Mm. And then, like, the whenever anxiety. I – And then right when – Yeah, the anxiety of that. And then whenever – Right whenever I'm about to get caught, I wake up. And yeah. I'm scared. I'm like, God, I'm glad I didn't Dude, kill your, someone. Your I've dream is the too. telltale heart, bro. I'm <laughs> You're actually, just dreaming yeah, actually, Edgar Allan Poe Paul. I've actually is that really? Had that happen. Yeah. I've had that happen as well. You had that like that type same that type same of dream, yeah. Yeah, it was dude. only like once. Damn. Yeah, mine is not like that at all. Same. No, I have terrible dreams. 
Yeah, I have terrible dreams yeah. too. I actually don't even really dream that much anymore. Me neither. Oh my Mar- god. Yeah. But it's weed. The weed yeah. Weed mm. stops your dreams. Does it? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, so yeah. I don't smoke weed. So. I love I love, t- I love dreaming too. Yeah. He doesn't, dude. I can testify. As yeah. long as my fingers are crossed, dude. If I dr- if I like take a nap during the day, I'll have a really intense dream. Mm. Daydream. In the day. Yeah, in the day. Yeah, like the if day. I like take a nap at like three p.m., yeah. I'll like have a crazy ass dream. Yeah, I had one that shouldn't have scared me, but it did. It was kind of. I feel no. like it, I feel like it's a little retarded. My my. Uh, I don't it's usually say space. that, but for me to say that, I really think it is. <laughs> I, had a, I had a weird dream once. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I had a weird dream once where uh, my mom, she had a trailblazer, and there was a bunch of raccoons beating the shit out of it with, like, bats and shit, and I don't know why that, like, bothered me. And it, like, happened a couple that times. That would be weird. <laughs> yeah. I know, and then it's just me, like, yelling at them and getting all emotional and then calling for my mom because I feel like, I don't know if she in the car or not. <laughs> I think that's what happened to Jonah in Atlanta, actually. <laughs> 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 Hell no. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <coughs> oh, shit. Man. That was fucking yeah, good. Dude. That's a good one. My recurring dream is that I'm laying on the ground in the desert, and Jesus falls out of the sky right on top of me. <laughs> Whoa. I, sw- I swear, what? I don't know how like I know it. He just falls? Like, he can't, like, catch He's himself? He's spinning. Like, it, like, spread, like, spinning from the sky. I don't know how I know it's Jesus, but I've had that dream probably since I was, like, seven or eight years old. That's wild. I have it, like, annually. That's wild. He's a You're colder. a serial killer. Yeah. Except for Brandon and Jonah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Jonah had the same dream as me about Once. killing people. Okay. You know, he got shot. Oh yeah, he's he, but he said he had a, another one. Where Once I, I had I had one dream where I was like, I literally was going to stab my mom. <laughs> I'm, just, oh, I'm, just kidding. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was in Fortnite. Uh, oh yeah, that's cool. No, nah, I'm just playing. No, I did have a dream where I was going to stab somebody, but it wasn't my mom. Hmm. Man. I love you, mom. I don't even sense. know the people I'm killing. Damn. I yeah, that's, I who, that's who it was. It, it was doesn't just a matter. Random person yeah. that I was going to. I, I couldn't tell you who I was killing, but it was like that. It was a reason all the time. Their rage. What well, was? Do you remember any of the reasons, or you just felt like One, there was? Well, a sometimes it's an accident. Like sometimes it's like I hit somebody with the car, Ooh. and then it's like mm. it's like oh shit! But for some reason I didn't call the police and I panicked, and then I buried them somewhere, and then like cleaned up all the mess. So they really had no no way to trace it to me. How'd you clean up the mess? Buried them. I th- yeah buried them and I had something in my car I could wrap them up in and then I buried them and then got all and then got all rid of, rid of the uh, DNA in the car as best I could but the that's DNA. how they, but that's how they got me because they somehow they traced it back to me with some lights on the uh you know like traffic lights have you ever seen Dexter yes I love dude Dexter. you would be the perfect Dexter because you live like on the Ooh, on the water yeah. right here. and you the could, gators will take care of yeah them. yeah but you got to you got to chop the head off first. Wow. See, this mm. is the thing take because the teeth out. yeah, you got to take teeth out. But the head is harder. You you want you want to dispose of that in a different way. The head's way. harder to take off too. Mm-hmm. Apparently, it's yeah. like yeah, mm. you got to make wow. th- make that sound effect. It's almost like they <laughs> aren't designed to be taken off, dude. Yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I don't know. I, don't, I have another dream where I just like am out in public somewhere, whether it be a school or just like some public area and then my clothes disappear one by one Damn. like first like, it'll be my shirt i'm like go to the bathroom and then my shirt's gone all of a sudden like you're in school or you're like your age now in elementary no. that's two different because that's, that's two different no dreams. it progresses with age so that's in two high school dreams. i was in high school in college i was in college and now i'm just you know wherever i find <laughs> the mall the adult mall where, where there's no children dude. not anywhere near that fucking indoor play set by the food court <laughs> it's not the one with the palm tree on top of the hill with the big frog it's not that it's one it's definitely dude. not at baby claire's <laughs> <laughs> baby gap dude uh, all right jonah before we get out of here what's your favorite place to poop that's not at your house Oh, Bucky's probably. Oh, Ooh. that's not that. That is that not is what not our research what our says. Intel says. It says Office yeah. Depot. Office Depot, but Bucky's. Yeah, Office Depot is a good one <laughs> because of like the smell of like offices, uh. you know, the printer and like the ink and the paper. It's also it's like it's like when you walk through, even if you have to shit already, while you're walking through, the smells just make you need to shit more. I don't mm. know what it is. It's weird. So it's like season. Yeah, I take really good shits at Office Depot. That's good, man. That's good. 
Yeah. So that's what got you started. You Bucky's is also a good one too, but yeah, Bucky's just has a good place in my heart. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. Bucky's is a shit. I've that brisket been. sandwich. Oh yeah. Mm. They're showers. My me cool. The first time I ever saw two people having sex in a car was outside of an office depot. Really? Mm. Two dudes. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Progressive. I don't want to assume their sexuality, but I believe they were gay. Men. <laughs> 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 or they just were two bros that really loved office supplies. <laughs> and my dude, they, they those fucking, I, I get it, bro. A Sharpie S gel point thirty eight. That'll, that'll get you going, dude. Okay, that's precision I machining. Like the, I like the G pens. The G, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, the G two. Yeah, the G two. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pilot G two. Let's see this. <laughs> <laughs> It was that one over there on University, yeah, by the yeah. Best Buy. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. It's that's right the on the best. end, that's and it was the on the side, right next, to like in between the Office Depot and that. That's nail the best. Sword. That's the best pin of that's all the best time. Pin yeah, by use. far. They're ch- they're they're reasonably be reasonably. Be <laughs> <laughs> I can't even say the word. They're they're well priced. Yeah, do you get <laughs> value? Yeah. <laughs> that really is like the gold standard for a pin. Yeah, right? yeah, that's the best yeah. one. Hmm. It's the perfect one. I wouldn't go that far, but it is. What's the, the what's a better pen than that? The Sharpie S Gel Point Thirty Eight, okay, no, no, dude. No, if you're like it. a finer tip, you can't get better S- than Point Thirty Eight, dude. It's not possible. But look up the Point Thirty Eight. It looks the same as all the other ones, but there's a point I'm trying to prove. Hold on, point. No, you could have just. Oh, it's the same with that. Hold it's on. just. A, it's okay, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah you got a break. Give him, give him, give him a break, yeah, guys. Dude. <laughs> All right, you said point thirty-seven. Point thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. All right. Yeah, and he wrote the word point. Point thirty-eight. <laughs> <laughs> there, uh, yeah, there it is, dude. If you ever sign up for a mic a at Shag Nasty, it'll be with that pin. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, okay. I don't think I've yeah, used that. Right. That's a good pin. It's it's always that pin, dude. It might be a point seven, but I try to get the point thirty-eight. <laughs> they're harder to find mm-hmm. because they're in high demand. You guys wouldn't. <laughs> All right, right, Jonah. While the ghostly Muhammad Ali here means that's the end of the podcast. All right. If you want anything you want to promote right here on this camera, your uh, socials, because people listen to uh, your socials, any shows you got coming up, anything you want. Uh, Let's see. Yeah, my Instagram, Jonah Does Comedy. <laughs> Linktree, Jonah.Blankenship1. Thank you, guys. YouTube, Jonah Does Comedy. This is amazing. Twitter, JB Fire Emoji. I'll use that one sometimes. Uh, TikTok, Jonah Does Comedy. It's pretty simple. My Snapchat is Jonah, Jonah Does Comedy. Um, what shows do I got coming up? I'm doing The Laughing School Monday, tomorrow. Other than that, yeah, I'm just grinding, doing a bunch of open mics, trying to hang out with you boys. Uh, yeah, that's it, really. Hell yeah, dude. Hey, thanks for coming on, big dog. Yeah, appreciate thanks you, for having man. me. Hey, we appreciate awesome. you, man. I love you guys. Hell yeah, I love, love you too. You. Peace. Real gay. <laughs> Welcome to Clown College. We have profound knowledge. In many ways, the elevator make you sound polished. So if you want to, hear a little honest. Few takes on a ways to make it as a comic. Then stick around for a while to fit down the clown. We got the guests right now just to show you how. Let's all go to Clown College, baby.